Bangkok is the capital and most populous city of Thailand. It is known in Thai as Krung Thep Maha Nakhon or simply Krung Thep. The city occupies 1,568.7 square kilometers (605.7 square miles) in the Chao Phraya River Delta in central Thailand, and has a population of over 8 million, or 12.6% of the country's population. Over 14 million people .2 lived within the surrounding Bangkok metropolitan region at the 2010 census, making Bangkok the nation's primate city, significantly dwarfing Thailand's other urban centers in terms of importance. Bangkok traces its roots to a small trading post during the Ayutthaya Kingdom in the 15th century, which eventually grew and became the site of two capital cities, Thonburi in 1768 and Ratanakosan in 1782. Bangkok was at the heart of the modernization of Siam, later renamed Thailand, during the late 19th century, as the country faced pressures from the West. The city was at the center of Thailand's political struggles throughout the 20th century, as the country abolished absolute monarchy, adopted constitutional rule, and underwent numerous coups and several uprisings. The city grew rapidly during the 1960s through the 1980s and now exerts a significant impact on Thailand's politics, economy, education, media, and modern society. The Asian investment boom in the 1980s and 1990s led many multinational corporations to locate their regional headquarters in Bangkok. The city is now a regional force in finance and business. It is an international hub for transport and health care, and has emerged as a center for the arts, fashion, and entertainment. The city is known for its street life and cultural landmarks, as well as its red light districts. The Grand Palace and Buddhist temples including Wat Aran and Wat Pho stand in contrast with other tourist attractions such as the nightlife scenes of Karozan Road and Pat Pong. Bangkok is among the world's top tourist destinations, and has been named the world's most visited city in several rankings. Bangkok's rapid growth coupled with little urban planning has resulted in a haphazard cityscape and inadequate infrastructure. An inadequate road network, despite an extensive expressway network, together with substantial private car usage, have led to chronic and crippling traffic congestion, which caused severe air pollution in the 1990s. The city has since turned to public transport in an attempt to solve the problem. Five rapid transit lines are now in operation, with more systems under construction or planned by the national government and the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration. Topic history The history of Bangkok dates at least back to the early 15th century, when it was a village on the west bank of the Chao Phraya River, under the rule of Ayutthaya. Because of its strategic location near the mouth of the river, the town gradually increased in importance. Bangkok initially served as a customs outpost with forts on both sides of the river, and was the site of a siege in 1688 in which the French were expelled from Siam. After the fall of Ayutthaya to the Burmese Empire in 1767, the newly crowned King Taksin established his capital at the town, which became the base of the Thonburi Kingdom. In 1782, King Futiotva Chulalok Rama I succeeded Taksin, moved the capital to the eastern banks Ratanakosan Island, thus founding the Ratanakosan Kingdom. 
The city pillar was erected on 21 April 1782, which is regarded as the date of foundation of the present city. Bangkok's economy gradually expanded through international trade, first with China, then with Western merchants returning in the early to mid 19th century. As the capital, Bangkok was the center of Siam's modernization as it faced pressure from Western powers in the late 19th century. The reigns of Kings Mongkut Rama IV, 1851–68 and Chulalongkorn Rama V, 1868–1910 saw the introduction of the steam engine, printing press, rail transport and utilities infrastructure in the city, as well as formal education and health care. Bangkok became the center stage for power struggles between the military and political elite as the country abolished absolute monarchy in 1932. Allied with Japan in World War II, it was subjected to Allied bombing, but rapidly grew in the post-war period as a result of U.S. aid and government-sponsored investment. Bangkok's role as a U.S. military R&R destination boosted its tourism industry as well as firmly establishing it as a sex tourism destination. Disproportionate urban development led to increasing income inequalities and migration from rural areas into Bangkok. Its population surged from 1.8 million to 3 million in the 1960s. Following the U.S. withdrawal from Vietnam in 1973, Japanese businesses took over as leaders in investment, and the expansion of export-oriented manufacturing led to growth of the financial market in Bangkok. Rapid growth of the city continued through the 1980s and early 1990s, until it was stalled by the 1997 Asian financial crisis. By then, many public and social issues had emerged, among them the strain on infrastructure reflected in the city's notorious traffic jams. Bangkok's role as the nation's political stage continues to be seen in strings of popular protests, from the student uprisings in 1973 and 1976, anti-military demonstrations in 1992, and successive anti-government demonstrations by opposing groups from 2008 on. Administration of the city was first formalized by King Chulalongkorn in 1906, with the establishment of Munthan Krung Thep Phra Maha Nakhon Munthal Krung Thep Framank as a national subdivision. In 1915 the Munthan was split into several provinces, the administrative boundaries of which have since further changed. The city in its current form was created in 1972 with the formation of the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration BMA, following the merger of Phra Nakhon Province on the eastern bank of the Chow Phraya and Thonburi Province on the west during the previous year. Name. The origin of the name Bangkok, Banks pronounced in Thai as BKK, listen, is unclear. Bang is a Thai word meaning a village on a stream, and the name might have been derived from Bang Ko, Bangkia Ko meaning island, stemming from the city's watery landscape. Another theory suggests that it is shortened from Bang Makok, Bang Max Makok being the name of Eliocarpus hygrophilus, a plant bearing olive like fruit. This is supported by the former name of Wat Aran, a historic temple in the area, that used to be called Wat Makok. 
Officially, the town was known as Thonburi C. Mahasamat, Thangburi Sramasmath from Pali and Sanskrit, literally City of Treasures Gracing the Ocean or Thonburi, according to the Ayutthaya Chronicles. Bangkok was likely a colloquial name, albeit one widely adopted by foreign visitors, who continued to use it to refer to the city even after the new capital's establishment. When King Rama I established his new capital on the river's eastern bank, the city inherited Ayutthaya's ceremonial name, of which there were many variants, including Krung Thep Thawarawadi C. Ayutthaya Krung Thep Thawadi Srixuthya and Krung Thep Maha Nakon C. Ayutthaya Edmund Roberts, visiting the city as envoy of the United States in 1833, noted that the city, since becoming capital, was known as Siyatia, and this is the name used in international treaties of the period. Today, the city is known in Thai as Krung Thep Maha Nakon or simply as Krung Thep. Its full ceremonial name, which came into use during the reign of King Mongkut, reads as follows Krungthep Mahanakon Amonrata Nakosan Mahintharayutiya Mahadalakfip Noparatrachathana Barirom Udomrachani Wet Mahasathan Amon Fimanawatan Sathat Sakathatia Wit Sanukampraset Krungthep Mank Exmaratrikosanth Me North Rayuth Ya Ma Dilkfef Nafo Ration Rach Tani Buri Me Zoom Rach Niwesan Ma Southan Exma Fimen Zutar Southat Sakathat Ty Wisnu Kram Prasithi the name, composed of Pali and Sanskrit root words, translates as City of Angels, Great City of Immortals, Magnificent City of the Nine Gems, Seat of the King, City of Royal Palaces, Home of Gods Incarnate, erected by Vishvakaman at Indra's behest. The name is listed in Guinness World Records as the world's longest place name, at 168 letters. Thai school children are taught the full name, although few can explain its meaning as many of the words are archaic, and known to few. Most Thais who recall the full name do so because of its use in a popular song, Krung Thep Maha Nakon. 1989 by Asani Wasson and will often recount it by singing it, much as an English speaker might sing the alphabet song to recite the alphabet. The entirety of the lyrics is just the name of the city repeated over and over. The city is now officially known in Thai by a shortened form of the full ceremonial name, Krung Thep Maha Nakon, which is colloquially further shortened to Krung Thep. Bangkok is the city's official English name, as reflected in the name of the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration. Government. <laughs> <laughs> The city of Bangkok is locally governed by the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration BMA. Although its boundaries are at the provincial Changwat level, unlike the other 76 provinces Bangkok is a special administrative area whose governor is directly elected to serve a four-year term. The governor, together with four appointed deputies, form the executive body, who implement policies through the BMA civil service headed by the permanent secretary for the BMA. In separate elections, each district elects one or more city councillors, who form the Bangkok Metropolitan Council. The council is the BMA's legislative body, and has power over municipal ordinances and the city's budget. However, after the coup of 2014 all local elections have been cancelled and the council was appointed by the government on 15 September 2014. 
The current Bangkok governor is Police General Aswan Kwanmuang, who was appointed by the military government on 26 October 2016 following the suspension of the last elected governor Mr. Sukhumpand Paribatra. Bangkok is divided into 50 districts Ket, equivalent to Ampho in the other provinces, which are further subdivided into 180 sub-districts equivalent to Tambon. Each district is managed by a district director appointed by the governor. District councils, elected to four-year terms, serve as advisory bodies to their respective district directors. The BMA is divided into 16 departments, each overseeing different aspects of the administration's responsibilities. Most of these responsibilities concern the city's infrastructure, and include city planning, building control, transportation, drainage, waste management and city beautification, as well as education, medical and rescue services. Many of these services are provided jointly with other agencies. The BMA has the authority to implement local ordinances, although civil law enforcement falls under the jurisdiction of the Metropolitan Police Bureau. The seal of the city shows Hindu god Indra riding in the clouds on Aravata, a divine white elephant known in Thai as Erawan. In his hand Indra holds his weapon, the Vajra. The seal is based on a painting done by Prince Naris. The tree symbol of Bangkok is Ficus Benjamina. The official city slogan, adopted in 2012, reads, As built by deities, the administrative center, dazzling palaces and temples, the capital of Thailand Krungthef Dukthefsrang Myung Sunakling Karpakirksing Wad Wong Nam Rung Rigsing Myung Haung King Prithithi as the capital of Thailand, Bangkok is the seat of all branches of the national government. The Government House, Parliament House and Supreme, Administrative and Constitutional Courts are all in the city. Bangkok is the site of the Grand Palace and Chitralada Villa, respectively the official and de facto residence of the king. Most government ministries also have headquarters and offices in the capital. Geography Bangkok City proper covers an area of 1568.7 square kilometers, 605.7 square miles, ranking 69th among the other 76 provinces of Thailand. Of this, about 700 square kilometers, 270 square miles form the built-up urban area. It is ranked 73rd in the world in terms of land area. The city's urban sprawl reaches into parts of the six other provinces it borders, namely, in clockwise order from northwest, Nonthaburi, Patham Thani, Chachoangzao, Samut Prakan, Samut Sakon, and Nakhon Patham. With the exception of Chachoangzao, these provinces, together with Bangkok, form the Greater Bangkok Metropolitan Region. Topography Bangkok is in the Chao Phraya River Delta in Thailand's central plain. The river meanders through the city in a southerly direction, emptying into the Gulf of Thailand approximately 25 kilometers, 16 miles south of city center. The area is flat and low-lying with an average elevation of 1.5 meters, 4 feet 11 in above sea level. 
most of the area was originally swampland, which was gradually drained and irrigated for agriculture by the construction of canals which took place from the 16th to 19th centuries. The course of the river as it flows through Bangkok has been modified by the construction of several shortcut canals. The city's waterway network served as the primary means of transport until the late 19th century, when modern roads began to be built. Up until then, most people lived near or on the water, leading the city to be known during the 19th century as the Venice of the East. Many of these canals have since been filled in or paved over, but others still criss-cross the city, serving as major drainage channels and transport routes. Most canals are now badly polluted, although the BMA has committed to the treatment and cleaning up of several canals. The geology of the Bangkok area is characterized by a top layer of soft marine clay, known as Bangkok clay, averaging 15 meters (49 feet) in thickness, which overlies an aquifer system consisting of eight known units. This feature has contributed to the effects of subsidence caused by extensive groundwater pumping. First recognized in the 1970s, subsidence soon became a critical issue, reaching a rate of 120 mm per year in 1981. Groundwater management and mitigation measures have since lessened the severity of the situation, although subsidence is still occurring at a rate of 10 to 30 mm (0.39 to 1.18 in) per year, and parts of the city are now 1 meter (3 feet 3 in) below sea level. There are fears that the city may be submerged by 2030. Subsidence has resulted in increased flood risk, as Bangkok is already prone to flooding due to its low elevation and an inadequate drainage infrastructure. The city now relies on flood barriers and augmenting drainage from canals by pumping and building drain tunnels, but parts of Bangkok and its suburbs are still regularly inundated. Heavy downpours resulting in urban runoff overwhelming drainage systems, and runoff discharge from upstream areas, are major triggering factors. Severe flooding affecting much of the city occurred in 1995 and 2011. In 2011, most of Bangkok's northern, eastern and western districts were flooded, in some places for over two months. Coastal erosion is also an issue in the Gulf Coastal Area, a small length of which lies within Bangkok's Bang Khun Thien district. Global warming poses further serious risks, and a study by the OECD has estimated that 5.138 million people in Bangkok may be exposed to coastal flooding by 2070, the seventh highest figure among the world's port cities. There are no mountains in Bangkok. The closest mountain range is the Khao Kiao Massif, about 40 kilometers (25 miles) southeast of the city. Phu Khao Thong, the only hill in the metropolitan area, originated with a very large chedi that King Rama III (1787–1851) built at Wat Sakat. The chedi collapsed during construction because the soft soil could not support its weight. Over the next few decades, the abandoned mud and brick structure acquired the shape of a natural hill and became overgrown with weeds. The locals called it Fu Kao, Pukia as if it were a natural feature. In the 1940s, enclosing concrete walls were added to stop the hill from eroding. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Climate. 
Like most of Thailand, Bangkok has a tropical savanna climate under the Köppen climate classification and is under the influence of the South Asian monsoon system. It experiences three seasons, hot, rainy, and cool, although temperatures are fairly hot year-round, ranging from an average low of 22.0 degrees Celsius .6 degrees Fahrenheit in December to an average high of 35.4 degrees Celsius .7 degrees Fahrenheit in April. The rainy season begins with the arrival of the southwest monsoon around mid-May. September is the wettest month, with an average rainfall of 334.3 mm the rainy season lasts until October, when the dry and cool northeast monsoon takes over until February. The hot season is generally dry, but also sees occasional summer storms. The surface magnitude of Bangkok's urban heat island has been measured at 2.5 degrees Celsius (4.5 degrees Fahrenheit) during the day and 8.0 degrees Celsius (14 degrees Fahrenheit) at night. The highest recorded temperature of Bangkok metropolis was 40.1 degrees Celsius, 104.2 degrees Fahrenheit in March 2013, and the lowest recorded temperature was 9.9 .9 degrees Celsius, 49.8 degrees Fahrenheit in January 1955. The Climate Impact Group at NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies analyzed climate data for major cities worldwide. It found that Bangkok in 1960 had 193 days at or above 32 degrees Celsius. In 2018, Bangkok can expect 276 days at or above 32 degrees Celsius. The group forecasts a rise by 2100 to, on average, 297 to 344 days at or above 32 degrees Celsius. Districts <inaudible> 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 Bangkok's 50 districts serve as administrative subdivisions under the authority of the BMA. 35 of these districts lie to the east of the Chao Phraya, while 15 are on the western bank, known as the Thonburi side of the city. The 50 districts, arranged by district code, are the BMA uses several schemes to organize the districts into groups for administrative and general planning purposes. The scheme adopted in 2004 used 12 characteristic groups. <coughs> Cityscape Bangkok's districts often do not accurately represent the functional divisions of its neighborhoods or land usage. Although urban planning policies date back to the commission of the Litchfield Plan in 1960, which set out strategies for land use, transportation and general infrastructure improvements, zoning regulations were not fully implemented until 1992. As a result, the city grew organically throughout the period of its rapid expansion, both horizontally as ribbon developments extended along newly built roads, and vertically, with increasing numbers of high-rises and skyscrapers being built in commercial areas. The city has grown from its original center along the river into a sprawling metropolis surrounded by swaths of suburban residential development extending north and south into neighboring provinces. 
the highly populated and growing cities of Nonthaburi, Pak Kray, Rangzat and Samut Prakan are effectively now suburbs of Bangkok. Nevertheless, large agricultural areas remain within the city proper at its eastern and western fringes. Land use in the city consists of 23% residential use, 24% agriculture, and 30% used for commerce, industry, and government. The BMA's City Planning Department CPD is responsible for planning and shaping further development. It published master plan updates in 1999 and 2006, and a third revision is undergoing public hearings in 2012. Bangkok's historic centre remains the Ratanakosan Island in Phra Nakhon district. It is the site of the Grand Palace and the City Pillar Shrine, primary symbols of the city's founding, as well as important Buddhist temples. Phra Nakhon, along with the neighboring Pom Prap Satru Phi and Samphanthawong districts, formed what was the city proper in the late 19th century. Many traditional neighborhoods and markets are found here, including the Chinese settlement of Samfeng. The city was expanded toward Dusit district in the early 19th century, following King Chulalongkorn's relocation of the royal household to the new Dusit Palace. The buildings of the palace, including the neoclassical Ananta Samakom Throne Hall, as well as the Royal Plaza and Ratchadamnan Avenue which leads to it from the Grand Palace, reflect the heavy influence of European architecture at the time. Major government offices line the avenue, as does the Democracy Monument. The area is the site of the country's seat of power as well as the city's most popular tourist landmarks. In contrast with the low-rise historic areas, the business district on Silom and Sathan roads in Bang Rak and Sathan districts teams with skyscrapers. It is the site of many of the country's major corporate headquarters, but also of some of the city's red light districts. The Siam and Ratchaprasong areas in Patham Wan are home to some of the largest shopping malls in Southeast Asia. Numerous retail outlets and hotels also stretch along Sukhumvit Road leading southeast through Watana and Klong Toei districts. More office towers line the streets branching off Sukhumvit, especially ASOK Montre, while upmarket housing is found in many of its SOIS. Bangkok lacks a single distinct central business district. Instead, the areas of Siam and Ratcha Prasong serve as a central shopping district, containing many of the bigger malls and commercial areas in the city, as well as Siam Station, the only transfer point between the city's two elevated train lines. The Victory Monument in Ratchathui district is among its most important road junctions, serving over 100 bus lines as well as an elevated train station. From the monument, Fahonyothan and Ratchawathi, Din Deng roads respectively run north and east linking to major residential areas. Most high density development is within the 113 square kilometer 44 square miles area encircled by the Ratchadafasek inner ring road. Ratchadafasek is lined with businesses and retail outlets and office buildings also cluster around Ratchayothan intersection in Chatuchak district to the north. Farther from the city centre, most areas are primarily mid- or low-density residential. The Thonburi side of the city is less developed, with fewer high-rises. 
With the exception of a few secondary urban centers, Thonburi, as well as the outlying eastern districts, consist mostly of residential and rural areas. While most of Bangkok's streets are fronted by vernacular shophouses, the largely unrestricted building frenzy of the 1980s has transformed the city into an urban jungle of skyscrapers and high rises of contrasting and clashing styles. There are 581 skyscrapers over 90 meters (300 feet) tall in the city. Bangkok was ranked as the world's eighth tallest city in 2016. A result of persistent economic disparity, many slums have emerged in the city. In 2000 there were over one million people living in about 800 slum settlements. A large number of slums are concentrated near the Bangkok port in Klong Toei district. Parks and green zones Bangkok has several parks, although these amount to a per capita total park area of only 1.82 square metres square feet in the city proper. Total green space for the entire city is moderate at 11.8 square meters, 127 square feet per person. In the more densely built up areas of the city, these numbers are as low as 1.73 and 0.72 square meters, 18.6 and 7.8 square feet per person. More recent numbers claim that there is 3.3 square meters of green space per person, compared to an average of 39 square meters in other cities across Asia. In Europe, London has 33.4 square meters of green space per head. Bangkokians thus have 10 times less green space than is standard in the region's urban areas. Green belt areas include about 700 square kilometers, 270 square miles of rice paddies and orchards on the eastern and western edges of the city, although their primary purpose is to serve as flood detention basins rather than to limit urban expansion. Bang Kakao, a 20 square kilometer, 7.7 square miles conservation area on an oxbow of the Chow Phraya, lies just across the southern riverbank districts in Samut Prakan province. A master development plan has been proposed to increase total park area to 4 square meters, 43 square feet per person. Bangkok's largest parks include the centrally located Lumphini Park near the Si Lom, Sathan Business District with an area of 57.6 hectares, 142 acres, the 80 hectare, 200 acre Suanluang Rama IX in the the east of the city, and the Chattachak Queen Sirikat Wachiraben Chathat Park complex in northern Bangkok, which has a combined area of 92 hectares 230 acres. <laughs> <laughs> Demography The city of Bangkok has a population of 8,305,218 according to the 2010 census, or 12.6% of the national population. In 2018, the population has been estimated to be about 10 million. Roughly half are internal migrants from other Thai provinces. Only 5,692,284 residents, belonging to 2,672,423 households, registered Bangkok as their legal domicile, according to 2014 statistics. 
A large number of Bangkok's daytime population commutes from surrounding provinces in the Bangkok metropolitan region, the total population of which is 14,626,225. Bangkok is a cosmopolitan city, the census showed that it is home to 567,120 expatriates from Asian countries including 71,024 Chinese and 63,069 Japanese nationals, 88,177 from Europe, 32,241 from the Americas, 5,856 from Oceania and 5,758 from Africa. Migrants from neighboring countries include 216,528 Burmese, 72,934 Cambodians and 52,498 Lao. In 2018, numbers show that there are 370,000 international migrants registered with the Department of Employment, more than half of them migrants from Cambodia, Laos, and Myanmar. Although it has been Thailand's largest population center since its establishment as capital city in 1782, Bangkok grew only slightly throughout the 18th and early 19th century. Stories. British diplomat John Crawford, visiting in 1822, estimated its population at no more than 50,000. As a result of Western medicine brought by missionaries as well as increased immigration from both within Siam and overseas, Bangkok's population gradually increased as the city modernized in the late 19th century. This growth became even more pronounced in the 1930s, following the discovery of antibiotics. Although family planning and birth control were introduced in the 1960s, the lowered birth rate was more than offset by increased migration from the provinces as economic expansion accelerated. Only in the 1990s have Bangkok's population growth rates decreased, following the national rate. Thailand had long since become highly centralized around the capital. In 1980, Bangkok's population was 51 times that of Hat Yai and Songkla, the second largest urban center, making it the world's most prominent primate city. A majority of Bangkok's population is of Thai ethnicity, although details on the city's ethnic makeup are unavailable, as the national census does not document race. Bangkok's cultural pluralism dates back to the early days of its founding. Several ethnic communities were formed by immigrants and forced settlers, included the Khmer, Northern Thai, Lao, Vietnamese, Tavoyan, Mon, and Malay. Most prominent were the Chinese, who played major roles in the city's trade and became the majority of Bangkok's population. Estimates include up to three-fourths in 1828 and almost half in the 1950s. Chinese immigration was restricted from the 1930s and effectively ceased after the Chinese Revolution in 1949. Their prominence subsequently declined as younger generations of Thai Chinese integrated and adopted a Thai identity. Bangkok is still nevertheless home to a large Chinese community, with the greatest concentration in Yaowarat, Bangkok's Chinatown. The majority of the city's population is Buddhist. 
Other religions include Islam 4.7%, Christianity 2%, Hinduism 0.5%, Sikhism 0.1%, and Confucianism 0.1%. Apart from Yawarat, Bangkok also has several other distinct ethnic neighborhoods. The Indian community is centered in Farhurat, where the Gurdwara Siri Guru Singh Sabha, founded in 1933, is located. Ban Krua on Siam Saep Canal is home to descendants of the Cham who settled in the late 18th century. Although the Portuguese who settled during the Thonburi period have ceased to exist as a distinct community, their past is reflected in Santa Cruz Church, on the west bank of the river. Likewise, Assumption Cathedral on Charon Krung Road is among many European-style buildings in the old Farang Quarter, where European diplomats and merchants lived in the late 19th to early 20th centuries. Nearby, the Harun Mosque is the centre of a Muslim community. Newer expatriate communities exist along Sukhumvit Road, including the Japanese community near Soi Phrom Phong and Soi Thong Lo, and the Arab and North African neighborhood along Soi Nana. Sukhumvit Plaza, a mall on Soi Sukhumvit 12, is popularly known as Korea Town. Topic. Economy Bangkok is the economic center of Thailand, and the heart of the country's investment and development. In 2010, the city had an economic output of 3.142 trillion baht $98.34 billion, contributing 29.1% of the gross domestic product GDP. This amounted to a per capita GDP value of 456,911 baht $14,301, almost three times the national average of 160,556 baht $5,025. The Bangkok metropolitan region had a combined output of 4.773 trillion baht, 149.39 billion dollars or 44.2% of GDP. Bangkok's economy ranks as the sixth among Asian cities in terms of per capita GDP, after Singapore, Hong Kong, Tokyo, Osaka Kobe, and Seoul. Wholesale and retail trade is the largest sector in the city's economy, contributing 24% of Bangkok's gross provincial product. It is followed by manufacturing 14.3%, real estate, renting and business activities 12.4%, transport and communications 11.6%, and financial intermediation 11.1%. Bangkok alone accounts for 48.4% of Thailand's service sector, which in turn constitutes 49% of GDP. When the Bangkok metropolitan region is considered, manufacturing is the most significant contributor at 28.2% of the gross regional product, reflecting the density of industry in the Bangkok's neighboring provinces. The automotive industry based around Greater Bangkok is the largest production hub in Southeast Asia. Tourism is also a significant contributor to Bangkok's economy, generating 427.5 billion baht billion in revenue in 2010. The Stock Exchange of Thailand is on Ratchadafasek Road in Inner Bangkok. 
The SET, together with the Market for Alternative Investment has 648 listed companies as of the end of 2011, with a combined market capitalization of 8.485 trillion baht $267.64 billion. Due to the large amount of foreign representation, Thailand has for several years been a mainstay of the Southeast Asian economy and a center of Asian business. The Globalization and World Cities Research Network ranks Bangkok as an alpha minus world city, and it is ranked 59th in Z. Yen's Global Financial Centers Index 11, Bangkok is home to the headquarters of all of Thailand's major commercial banks and financial institutions, as well as the country's largest companies. A large number of multinational corporations base their regional headquarters in Bangkok due to the lower cost of labor and operations relative to other major Asian business centers. Seventeen Thai companies are listed on the Forbes 2000, all of which are based in the capital, including PTT, the only Fortune Global 500 company in Thailand. Income inequality is a major issue in Bangkok, especially between relatively unskilled lower income immigrants from rural provinces and neighboring countries, and middle class professionals and business elites. Although absolute poverty rates are low, only 0.64% of Bangkok's registered residents were living under the poverty line in 2010, compared to a national average of 7.75%. Economic disparity is still substantial. The city has a Gini coefficient of 0.48, indicating a high level of inequality. Topic: Tourism. Bangkok is one of the world's top tourist destinations. Of 162 cities worldwide, Mastercard ranked Bangkok as the top destination city by international visitor arrivals in its Global Destination Cities Index 2018, ahead of London, with just over 20 million overnight visitors in 2017. This was a repeat of its 2017 ranking for 2016. Euromonitor International ranked Bangkok fourth in its top city destinations ranking for 2016. Bangkok was also named, ''World's Best City'' by Travel Plus Leisure magazine's survey of its readers for four consecutive years, from 2010 to 2013. As the main gateway through which visitors arrive in Thailand, Bangkok is visited by the majority of international tourists to the country. Domestic tourism is also prominent. The Department of Tourism recorded 26,861,095 Thai and 11,361,808 foreign visitors to Bangkok in 2010. Lodgings were made by 15,031,244 guests, who occupied 49.9% of the city's 86,687 hotel rooms. Bangkok also topped the list as the world's most popular tourist destinations in 2017 rankings. Bangkok's multifaceted sites, attractions, and city life appeal to diverse groups of tourists. Royal palaces and temples as well as several museums constitute its major historical and cultural tourist attractions. Shopping and dining experiences offer a wide range of choices and prices. The city is also famous for its dynamic nightlife. 
Although Bangkok's sex tourism scene is well known to foreigners, it is usually not openly acknowledged by locals or the government. Among Bangkok's well-known sites are the Grand Palace and major Buddhist temples, including Wat Phraekaew, Wat Pho, and Wat Aran. The giant swing and Erawan shrine demonstrate Hinduism's deep-rooted influence in Thai culture. Vimanmek Mansion in Dusat Palace is famous as the world's largest teak building, while the Jim Thompson House provides an example of traditional Thai architecture. Other major museums include the Bangkok National Museum and the Royal Barge National Museum. Cruises and boat trips on the Chow Phraya and Thonberry's canals offer views of some of the city's traditional architecture and ways of life on the waterfront. Shopping venues, many of which are popular with both tourists and locals, range from the shopping centers and department stores concentrated in Siam and Ratchaprasong to the sprawling Chattachak weekend market. Talang Chan Floating Market is among the few such markets in Bangkok. Yawarat is known for its shops as well as street side food stalls and restaurants, which are also found throughout the city. Khao San Road has long been famous as a backpacker's destination, with its budget accommodation, shops, and bars attracting visitors from all over the world. Bangkok has a reputation overseas as a major destination in the sex industry. Although prostitution is technically illegal and is rarely openly discussed in Thailand, it commonly takes place among massage parlors, saunas and hourly hotels, serving foreign tourists as well as locals. Bangkok has acquired the nickname, Sin City of Asia. For its level of sex tourism, issues often encountered by foreign tourists include scams, overcharging and dual pricing. In a survey of 616 tourists visiting Thailand, 7.79% reported encountering a scam, the most common of which was the gem scam, in which tourists are tricked into buying overpriced jewelry. Topic. Culture The culture of Bangkok reflects its position as Thailand's center of wealth and modernization. The city has long been the portal of entry of Western concepts and material goods, which have been adopted and blended with Thai values to various degrees by its residents. This is most evident in the lifestyles of the expanding middle class. Conspicuous consumption serves as a display of economic and social status, and shopping centers are popular weekend hangouts. Ownership of electronics and consumer products such as mobile phones is ubiquitous. This has been accompanied by a degree of secularism, as religion's role in everyday life has rather diminished. Although such trends have spread to other urban centers, and, to a degree, the countryside, Bangkok remains at the forefront of social change. A distinct feature of Bangkok is the ubiquity of street vendors selling goods ranging from food items to clothing and accessories. It has been estimated that the city may have over 100,000 hawkers. While the BMA has authorized the practice in 287 sites, the majority of activity in another 407 sites takes place illegally. 
Although they take up pavement space and block pedestrian traffic, many of the city's residents depend on these vendors for their meals, and the BMA's efforts to curb their numbers have largely been unsuccessful. In 2015, however, the BMA, with support from the National Council for Peace and Order, Thailand's ruling military junta, began cracking down on street vendors in a bid to reclaim public space. Space. Many famous market neighborhoods were affected, including Klong Tom, Safan Lek, and the flower market at Pak Klong Talat. Nearly 15,000 vendors were evicted from 39 public areas in 2016. While some applauded the efforts to focus on pedestrian rights, others have expressed concern that gentrification would lead to the loss of the city's character and adverse changes to people's way of life. <laughs> <laughs> Festivals and events The residents of Bangkok celebrate many of Thailand's annual festivals. During Songkran on 13–15 April, traditional rituals as well as water fights take place throughout the city. Loi Krathong, usually in November, is accompanied by the Golden Mount Fair. New Year celebrations take place at many venues, the most prominent being the plaza in front of Central World. Observances related to the royal family are held primarily in Bangkok. Wreaths are laid at King Chulalongkorn's equestrian statue in the Royal Plaza on 23 October, which is King Chulalongkorn Memorial Day. The present king's and queen's birthdays, respectively on 5 December and 12 August, are marked as Thailand's National Father's Day and National Mother's Day. These national holidays are celebrated by royal audiences on the day's eve, in which the king or queen gives a speech, and public gatherings on the day of the observance. The King's Birthday is also marked by the Royal Guards Parade. Sanam Luang is the site of the Thai Kite, Sport and Music Festival, usually held in March, and the Royal Ploughing Ceremony which takes place in May. The Red Cross Fair at the beginning of April is held at Swan Amporn and the Royal Plaza, and features numerous booths offering goods, games and exhibits. The Chinese New Year January to February and Vegetarian Festival September to October are celebrated widely by the Chinese community, especially in Yaowarat. Media Bangkok is the centre of Thailand's media industry. All national newspapers, broadcast media and major publishers are based in the capital. Its 21 national newspapers had a combined daily circulation of about 2 million in 2002. These include the mass-oriented Thai Rath, Khao Sod and Daily News, the first of which currently prints a million copies per day, as well as the less sensational Matishon and Krungthep Thurikij. The Bangkok Post and The Nation are the two national English-language dailies. Foreign publications including the Asian Wall Street Journal, Financial Times, The Straits Times and the Yomuri Shimbun also have operations in Bangkok. The large majority of Thailand's more than 200 magazines are published in the capital, and include news magazines as well as lifestyle, entertainment, gossip and fashion-related publications. Bangkok is also the hub of Thailand's broadcast television. 
All six national terrestrial channels, channels 3, 5 and 7 Modernine, NBT and Thai PBS, have headquarters and main studios in the capital. With the exception of local news segments broadcast by the NBT, all programming is done in Bangkok and repeated throughout the provinces. However, this centralized model is weakening with the rise of cable television, which has many local providers. There are numerous cable and satellite channels based in Bangkok. Truvisions is the major subscription television provider in Bangkok and Thailand, and it also carries international programming. Bangkok was home to 40 of Thailand's 311 FM radio stations and 38 of its 212 AM stations in 2002. Broadcast media reform stipulated by the 1997 constitution has been progressing slowly, although many community radio stations have emerged in the city. Likewise, Bangkok has dominated the Thai film industry since its inception. Although film settings normally feature locations throughout the country, the city is home to all major film studios. Bangkok has dozens of cinemas and multiplexes, and the city hosts two major film festivals annually, the Bangkok International Film Festival and the World Film Festival of Bangkok. Art Traditional Thai art, long developed within religious and royal contexts, continues to be sponsored by various government agencies in Bangkok, including the Department of Fine Arts Office of Traditional Arts. The Support Foundation in Chitralada Palace sponsors traditional and folk handicrafts. Various communities throughout the city still practice their traditional crafts, including the production of con masks, arms bowls, and classical musical instruments. The National Gallery hosts permanent collection of traditional and modern art, with temporary contemporary exhibits. Bangkok's contemporary art scene has slowly grown from relative obscurity into the public sphere over the past two decades. Private galleries gradually emerged to provide exposure for new artists, including the Patravadi Theatre and H Gallery. The centrally located Bangkok Art and Culture Center, opened in 2008 following a 15-year lobbying campaign, is now the largest public exhibition space in the city. There are also many other art galleries and museums, including the privately owned Museum of Contemporary Art. The city's performing arts scene features traditional theatre and dance as well as Western-style plays. Con and other traditional dances are regularly performed at the National Theatre and Salashalermkrung Royal Theatre, while the Thailand Cultural Centre is a newer multi-purpose venue which also hosts musicals, orchestras and other events. Numerous venues regularly feature a variety of performances throughout the city. Sport Modern Bangkok has developed a strong spectator sport culture. While Muay Thai kickboxing matches at Rajadamnan and Lumpini stadiums are regularly broadcast on television, the sport has mostly been overtaken in popularity by association football. Several foreign leagues and competitions, especially England's Premier League, have large followings in Bangkok as well as other Thai urban centres. In recent years, the Thai League has been gaining popularity. 
Police Tero based in Bangkok and Muang Thong United based in the Bangkok metropolitan region are leading clubs. For more information on this topic, see Football in Bangkok. While CPAC Takraw can be seen played in open spaces throughout the city, especially by the working class, football and other modern sports are now more of the norm. Western sports were introduced during the reign of King Chulalongkorn, and were originally only available to the privileged. Such status is still associated with certain sports. Golf is popular among the upwardly mobile, and while Thailand's more famous clubs are in the countryside, there are several courses in Bangkok itself. Horse riding takes place in a couple of exclusive clubs in the city. Horse racing is very popular in Bangkok and betting on horses is legal. There are two racecourses in Bangkok. Royal Bangkok Sports Club", and Royal Turf Club of Thailand". There are many public sporting facilities located throughout Bangkok. The two main centers are the National Stadium Complex, which dates to 1938, and the newer Hua Mac Sports Complex, which was built for the 1998 Asian Games. Bangkok had also hosted the Games in 1966, 1970 and 1978, the most of any city. The city was the host of the inaugural Southeast Asian Games in 1959, the 2007 Summer Universiade and the 2012 FIFA Futsal World Cup. Topic: Transport. Although Bangkok's canals historically served as a major mode of transport, they have long since been surpassed in importance by land traffic. Charon Krung Road, the first to be built by Western Techniques, was completed in 1864. Since then, the road network has vastly expanded to accommodate the sprawling city. A complex elevated expressway network helps bring traffic into and out of the city centre, but Bangkok's rapid growth has put a large strain on infrastructure, and traffic jams have plagued the city since the 1990s. Although rail transport was introduced in 1893 and electric trams served the city from 1894 to 1968, it was only in 1999 that Bangkok's first rapid transit system began operation. Older public transport systems include an extensive bus network and boat services which still operate on the Chow Phraya and two canals. Taxis appear in the form of cars, motorcycles, and tuk-tuk auto rickshaws. Bangkok is connected to the rest of the country through the national highway and rail networks, as well as by domestic flights to and from the city's two international airports. Its centuries-old maritime transport of goods is still conducted through Klong Toei Port. The BMA is largely responsible for overseeing the construction and maintenance of the road network and transport systems through its Public Works Department and Traffic and Transportation Department. However, many separate government agencies are also in charge of the individual systems, and much of transport-related policy planning and funding is contributed to by the national government. <laughs> <laughs> Roads Road-based transport is the primary mode of travel in Bangkok. Due to the city's organic development, its streets do not follow an organized grid structure. 
48 major roads link the different areas of the city, branching into smaller streets and lanes SOI which serve local neighborhoods. Eleven bridges over the Chao Praya link the two sides of the city, while several expressway and motorway routes bring traffic into and out of the city centre and link with nearby provinces. Bangkok's rapid growth in the 1980s resulted in sharp increases in vehicle ownership and traffic demand, which have since continued. In 2006 there were 3,943,211 in-use vehicles in Bangkok, of which 37.6% were private cars and 32.9% were motorcycles. These increases, in the face of limited carrying capacity, caused severe traffic congestion evident by the early 1990s. The extent of the problem is such that the Thai Traffic Police has a unit of officers trained in basic midwifery in order to assist deliveries which do not reach hospital in time. While Bangkok's limited road surface area 8%, compared to 20–30% in most western cities is often cited as a major cause of its traffic jams, other factors, including high vehicle ownership rate relative to income level, inadequate public transport systems, and lack of transportation demand management, also play a role. Efforts to alleviate the problem have included the construction of intersection bypasses and an extensive system of elevated highways, as well as the creation of several new rapid transit systems. The city's overall traffic conditions, however, remain poor. Traffic has been the main source of air pollution in Bangkok, which reached serious levels in the 1990s. But efforts to improve air quality by improving fuel quality and enforcing emission standards, among others, had visibly ameliorated the problem by the 2000s. Atmospheric particulate matter levels dropped from 81 micrograms per cubic meter in 1997 to 43 in 2007. However, increasing vehicle numbers and a lack of continued pollution control efforts threatens a reversal of the past success. In January to February 2018, weather conditions caused bouts of haze to cover the city, with particulate matter under 2.5 micrometers (PM2.5) rising to unhealthy levels for several days on end. Although the BMA has created 30 signed bicycle routes along several roads totaling 230 kilometers (140 miles), cycling is still largely impractical, especially in the city centre. Most of these bicycle lanes share the pavement with pedestrians. Poor surface maintenance, encroachment by hawkers and street vendors, and a hostile environment for cyclists and pedestrians, make cycling and walking unpopular methods of getting around in Bangkok. Topic: Buses and taxis. Bangkok has an extensive bus network providing local transit services within the Greater Bangkok area. The Bangkok Mass Transit Authority (BMTA) operates a monopoly on bus services, with substantial concessions granted to private operators. Buses, minibus vans, and Song Theo operate on a total of 470 routes throughout the region. A separate bus rapid transit system owned by the BMA has been in operation since 2010. Known simply as the BRT, the system currently consists of a single line running from the business district at Sathan to Ratchafruk on the western side of the city. 
The Transport Co., Ltd. is the BMTA's long-distance counterpart, with services to all provinces operating out of Bangkok. Taxis are ubiquitous in Bangkok, and are a popular form of transport. As of August 2012, there are 106,050 cars, 58,276 motorcycles and 8,996 tuk-tuk motorized tricycles cumulatively registered for use as taxis. Meters have been required for car taxis since 1992, while tuk-tuk fares are usually negotiated. Motorcycle taxis operate from regulated ranks, with either fixed or negotiable fares, and are usually employed for relatively short journeys. Despite their popularity, taxis have gained a bad reputation for often refusing passengers when the requested route is not to the driver's convenience. Motorcycle taxis were previously unregulated, and subject to extortion by organized crime gangs. Since 2003, registration has been required for motorcycle taxi ranks, and drivers now wear distinctive numbered vests designating their district of registration and where they are allowed to accept passengers. topic rail systems Bangkok is the location of Hua Lam Phong railway station the main terminus of the national rail network operated by the state railway of Thailand SRT in addition to long distance services, the SRT also operates a few daily commuter trains running from and to the outskirts of the city during the rush hour. Bangkok is currently served by three rapid transit systems, the BTS SkyTrain, the Underground MRT and the Elevated Airport Rail Link. Although proposals for the development of rapid transit in Bangkok had been made since 1975, it was only in 1999 that the BTS finally began operation. The BTS consists of two lines, Sukhumvit and Silam, with 34 stations along 30.95 km miles. The MRT opened for use in July 2004, and currently consists of two lines, the Blue Line and Purple Line. The airport rail link, opened in August 2010, connects the city centre to Suvarnabhumi Airport to the east. Its eight stations span a distance of 28 kilometres 17 miles. Although initial passenger numbers were low and their service area remains limited to the inner city, these systems have become indispensable to many commuters. The BTS reported an average of 600,000 daily trips in 2012, while the MRT had 240,000 passenger trips per day. As of 2016, construction work is ongoing to extend BTS and MRT, as well as several additional transit lines, including the light red grade separated commuter rail line. The entire mass rapid transit master plan in Bangkok metropolitan region consists of eight main lines and four feeder lines totaling 508 kilometers 316 miles to be completed by 2029. In addition to rapid transit and heavy rail lines, there have been proposals for several monorail systems. topic water transport although much diminished from its past prominence water based transport still plays an important role in bangkok and the immediate upstream and downstream provinces 
several water buses serve commuters daily. The Chow Praya Express boat serves 34 stops along the river, carrying an average of 35,586 passengers per day in 2010, while the smaller Klong Sion SAEP boat service serves 27 stops on Sion SAEP Canal with 57,557 daily passengers. Long tail boats operate on 15 regular routes on the Chow Praya, and passenger ferries at 32 river crossings served an average of 136,927 daily passengers in 2010. Bangkok Port, popularly known by its location as Klong Toei Port, was Thailand's main international port from its opening in 1947 until it was superseded by the deep sea LAEM Shebang port in 1991. It is primarily a cargo port, though its inland location limits access to ships of 12,000 deadweight tons or less. The port handled 11,936,855 tons, 13,158,130 tons of cargo in the first 8 months of the 2010 fiscal year, about 22% the total of the country's international ports. Topic Airports Bangkok is one of Asia's busiest air transport hubs. Two commercial airports serve the city, the older Don Muang International Airport and the new Bangkok International Airport, commonly known as Suvarnabhum. Suvarnabhumi, which replaced Don Muang as Bangkok's main airport after its opening in 2006, served 52,808,013 passengers in 2015, making it the world's 20th busiest airport by passenger volume. This volume exceeded its designed capacity of 45 million passengers. Don Muang reopened for domestic flights in 2007, and resumed international service focusing on low-cost carriers in October 2012. Boom is undergoing expansion to increase its capacity to 60 million passengers by 2019 and 90 million by 2021. Topic: Health and Education. Topic: Education. Bangkok has long been the center of modern education in Thailand. The first schools in the country were established here in the later 19th century, and there are now 1,351 schools in the city. The city is home to the country's five oldest universities, Chulalongkorn, Thammasat, Kassetsat, Mahidol and Silpakorn, founded between 1917 and 1943. The city has since continued its dominance, especially in higher education. The majority of the country's universities, both public and private, are located in Bangkok or the metropolitan region. Chulalongkorn and Mahidol are the only Thai universities to appear in the top 500 of the QS World University rankings. King Mongkut's University of Technology Thonburi, also located in Bangkok, is the only Thai university in the top 400 of the 2012 13 times higher education world university rankings. Over the past few decades, the general trend of pursuing a university degree has prompted the founding of new universities to meet the needs of Thai students. 
Bangkok became not only a place where immigrants and provincial Thais go for job opportunities, but also for a chance to receive a university degree. Ramkumheng University emerged in 1971 as Thailand's first open university, it now has the highest enrollment in the country. The demand for higher education has led to the founding of many other universities and colleges, both public and private. While many universities have been established in major provinces, the Greater Bangkok region remains home to the greater majority of institutions, and the city's tertiary education scene remains overpopulated with non Bangkokians. The situation is not limited to higher education, either. In the 1960s, 60 to 70 percent of 10 to 19 year olds who were in school had migrated to Bangkok for secondary education. This was due to both the lack of secondary schools in the provinces and perceived higher standards of education in the capital. Although this discrepancy has since largely abated, tens of thousands of students still compete for places in Bangkok's leading schools. Education has long been a prime factor in the centralization of Bangkok and will play a vital role in the government's efforts to decentralize the country. Health care Much of Thailand's medical resources are disproportionately concentrated in the capital. In 2000, Bangkok had 39.6% of the country's doctors and a physician-to-population ratio of 1 to 794, compared to a median of 1 to 5,667 among all provinces. The city is home to 42 public hospitals, five of which are university hospitals, as well as 98 private hospitals and 4,063 registered clinics. The BMA operates nine public hospitals through its medical service department, and its health department provides primary care through 68 community health centers. Thailand's universal health care system is implemented through public hospitals and health centers as well as participating private providers. Research-oriented medical school affiliates such as Siraraj, King Chulalongkorn Memorial and Ramathi Body Hospitals are among the largest in the country, and act as tertiary care centers, receiving referrals from distant parts of the country. Lately, especially in the private sector, there has been much growth in medical tourism, with hospitals such as Bumrungrad and Bangkok Hospital, among others, providing services specifically catering to foreigners. An estimated 200,000 medical tourists visited Thailand in 2011, making Bangkok the most popular global destination for medical tourism. Topic: Crime and safety. Bangkok has a relatively moderate crime rate when compared to urban counterparts around the world. Traffic accidents are a major hazard, while natural disasters are rare. Intermittent episodes of political unrest and occasional terrorist attacks have resulted in losses of life. Although the crime threat in Bangkok is relatively low, non confrontational crimes of opportunity such as pickpocketing, purse snatching, and credit card fraud occur with frequency. Bangkok's growth since the 1960s has been followed by increasing crime rates partly driven by urbanization, migration, unemployment and poverty. 
By the late 1980s, Bangkok's crime rates were about four times that of the rest of the country. The police have long been preoccupied with street crimes ranging from housebreaking to assault and murder. The 1990s saw the emergence of vehicle theft and organized crime, particularly by foreign gangs. Drug trafficking, especially that of Yaba methamphetamine pills, is also chronic. According to police statistics, the most common complaint received by the Metropolitan Police Bureau in 2010 was housebreaking, with 12,347 cases. This was followed by 5,504 cases of motorcycle thefts, 3,694 cases of assault and 2,836 cases of embezzlement. Serious offences included 183 murders, 81 gang robberies, 265 robberies, one kidnapping and nine arson cases. Offences against the state were by far more common, and included 54,068 drug-related cases, 17,239 cases involving prostitution and 8,634 related to gambling. The Thailand Crime Victim Survey conducted by the Office of Justice Affairs of the Ministry of Justice found that 2.7% of surveyed households reported a member being victim of a crime in 2007. Of these, 96.1% were crimes against property, 2.6% were crimes against life and body, and 1.4% were information related crimes. Political demonstrations and protests are common in Bangkok. While most events since 1992 had been peaceful, the series of protests since 2006 have often turned violent. Demonstrations during March to May 2010 ended in a crackdown in which 92 were killed, including armed and unarmed protesters, security forces, civilians and journalists. Terrorist incidents have also occurred in Bangkok, most notably the 2015 Bangkok bombing at the Erawan Shrine, and also a series of bombings on the 2006–07 New Year's Eve. Traffic accidents are a major hazard in Bangkok. There were 37,985 accidents in the city in 2010, resulting in 16,602 injuries and 456 deaths as well as 426.42 million baht in damages. However, the rate of fatal accidents is much lower than in the rest of Thailand. While accidents in Bangkok amounted to 50.9% of the entire country, only 6.2% of fatalities occurred in the city. Another serious public health hazard comes from Bangkok's stray dogs. Up to 300,000 strays are estimated to roam the city's streets, and dog bites are among the most common injuries treated in the emergency departments of the city's hospitals. Rabies is prevalent among the dog population, and treatment for bites pose a heavy public burden. International relations The city's formal international relations are managed by the International Affairs Division of the BMA. Its missions include partnering with other major cities through sister city agreements, participation and membership in international organizations, and pursuing cooperative activities with the many foreign diplomatic missions based in the city. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> International participation. 
Bangkok is a member of several international organizations and regional city government networks, including the Asian Network of Major Cities 21, the Japan-led Asian Pacific City Summit, the C40 Cities Climate Leadership Group, the ESCAP-sponsored Regional Network of Local Authorities for Management of Human Settlements in Asia and Pacific Japan's Council of Local Authorities for International Relations, the World Association of the Major Metropolises and Local Governments for Sustainability, among others, with its location at the heart of mainland Southeast Asia, its alluring nightlife, and as one of Asia's hubs of transportation, Bangkok is home to many international and regional organizations. Among others, Bangkok is the seat of the Secretariat of the UN Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific ESCAP, as well as the Asia-Pacific Regional Offices of the Food and Agricultural Organization FAO, the International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO, the International Labor Organization ILO, the International Organization for Migration IOM, the International Telecommunication Union ITU, the UN High Commission for Refugees UNHCR, and the UN Children's Fund UNICEF. <laughs> Sister cities Bangkok's sister cities as of 2018 are Topic. See also Bangkok portal Outline of Bangkok World's largest cities Notes <laughs> <laughs>